So welcome back to French Countryside Life. You join me at the start of a massive garden renovation here. Um, it's the first day on this job. Um, the house is up for sale, you see behind me. And um, yeah, the garden's pretty much overgrown. So it's a matter of getting the grip on this and uh, make it look presentable. So enough gabbing, let's get on with it. Okay, so it is 20 to 1 and lunchtime, only about five minutes from home, so I've uh, just packed up. So see I've cut all the grass and I'll it into piles. Um, I forgot my wheelbarrow, so uh, when I go home, I'm going to empty the trailer out, put the wheelbarrow in and uh, be able to pick up all this grass. And the plan is to run the mower up and down it. And then um, the grip on the fences. So, once time. So this is what I've managed to get done in a day. That's all the hedges trimmed. All the grass cut. It is 10 to 5. Need to get to the dechettery, get the trailer emptied. Before it shuts at 6. Good. Beautiful view across the valley there. So that was Wednesday. Been a real busy week. Worked all day Wednesday, as you saw. Uh, Thursday, I was working all day. And Friday, I was working in the morning and in the afternoon. So pretty much all day anyway. But I had a proper two hour lunch break. So, I'm in one of those situations where I think I've started too many things and I need to get some stuff finished. So these shutters, I haven't been able to touch these. I haven't had the time. Um, Jane and I went to a Bricont and got, we bought this, which is really interesting. It's a, um, it's a brass, solid brass bulkhead light, probably from a ship, I would imagine. And I'm going to put an LED Edison lamp inside it, mount it on a, a nice wooden plinth. And uh, I think that's going to be uh, going into the Etsy shop, so that, that's going to look really nice. Um, we've got a, uh, a great big chandelier here that um, was a donation from Kath. And um, I said it was a donation. I'm assuming it's a donation. <laughs> if it's not, sorry, Kath. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to probably paint this black, um, give it a bit of a clean up and tidy up. But um, so that's another job that's got to be done. Um, I was thinking about you know uh, the being quiet at lunchtime and um, Sundays when you can't use machinery and so on. And I was reflecting on it that um, it all comes down to a sense of community, doesn't it? It's, it's, when you're back in the UK, you can do what you want, when you want, pretty much. But no one cares. The reason that you can do those things is because no one cares. No one cares about you. You look after yourself and it's pretty much dog eat dog. Whereas here, because you respect the, the unwritten rules, as it were, like, you know, no noise at lunchtime, no noise at, on a Sunday. It just shows that people care about other people, which is lovely, isn't it? Surely that's the way that things should be. Yeah. 
on another note, uh, I've sourced the wood to make the tiki bar. So this week coming, uh, I'm going to uh, pop down and see the chap and um, probably make a deposit and um, get the wood ordered. So, uh, so that's going to be happening real soon. Um, oh, there was something else as well. It will come to me. It will come to me. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look here. Did I make a note? No, I think that was it. All right, so um, I best get on and do some stuff, eh? We're going out this afternoon as well, two o'clock. So, um, oh, that was the other thing, just remembered. So, going forward this week, I thought I'd do a daily vlog. So just eight, 10 minutes every day just for this week and see how that goes. You can, you can let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, I think it'll be fun. So it was Jane's idea. So we'll see how we go. Brilliant, right, anyway, I'll best get on. So I was gonna do the, the whole uh, red oxide undercoat, couple of coats of gloss but I thought that the hammerite might look better. So I went to the uh, DIY store and um, hammerite's crazy expensive here. So this is the French equivalent. Yeah, eight year guarantee. So a couple of coats of this and I think we'll be in good shape. Okay, so that's the first coat of the French version of Hammerite. That'll dry overnight. Put another coat on tomorrow, and then we'll be ready to take the ironmongery over to the door for the first fitting, drill the holes, mark and cut out the little cutouts for the hinges so they fit flush. And as soon as we've done all that, then I can start to sand and undercut the doors and uh, well the shutters I should say and uh, yeah so it's looking good so apologies that it's um, a bit of a shorter video today but with the daily starting for a week or thereabouts um, you'll get to see a lot more of me I'm sure you'll be sick of me by the end of the week no doubt so if you can give the video a thumbs up Maybe share it on social media, press the notification bell so that you know when there's new content and maybe think about subscribing if you're not subscribed already. And all that leaves to say is mine there you go and I'll see you soon.